Good afternoon. We'd like to start uh, today's uh, briefing for international press. <coughs> My name is Noriko Shikata. I'm Deputy Cabinet Secretary for Public Affairs at the Prime Minister's Office. Uh, today's uh, uh, briefers uh, include um, uh, Mr. Yoshinori Moriyama, uh, Deputy Director General for NISA, and uh, uh, and to uh, and also uh, Mr. Uh, Shinichi Kawarada, uh, advisor to MEXT, and um, uh, Mr. H. Yokota, uh, the senior technical officer of uh, uh, MHLW, and um, uh, Tsukasa Ka Kaguchi, deputy director of uh, Nuclear Safety Commission, uh, and. Um, uh, and Mr. Uh, Naomi Inoue, uh, Deputy Director of uh, Environmental Management Bureau of Ministry of Environment. Okay. Um, at the outset, uh <coughs> I'd like to touch upon uh, four points uh, very briefly. Uh, as uh, you may have already heard, uh, the, the Japanese government uh, released a monthly economic report uh, this morning uh, regarding assessment of the, the current state of uh, the Japanese economy and its policy stance. <coughs> the Japanese economy is uh, uh, gradually uh, picking up uh, while uh, difficulties uh, continue to uh, remain uh, due to the great uh, uh, the, the consequences uh, of uh, disaster. Uh, there are some uh, positive uh, <coughs> elements, including uh, the, the firm's uh, company's uh, judgment on current business uh, conditions uh, being improving, and uh, employment situation uh, is uh, demonstrating signs of uh, picking up. Um, concerning uh, short-term uh, prospects, um, reflecting supply chain reconstruction and the effects of policy measures, the Japanese economy is uh, expected to continue uh, to pick up. However, uh, there are downside uh, risk, uh, risks that uh, uh, could stem from uh, several uh, factors, uh, such as uh, constraints of uh, uh, constraints of electric uh, power supply, the consequences of uh, the nuclear accident, uh, further slowing down of uh, uh, the overseas uh, demands, uh, or uh, volatile uh, exchange rates uh, uh, fluctuations, uh, as well as. Uh, uh, the financial uh, uh, situation in the Euro Eurozone and uh, uh, flood the disaster in Thailand. Uh, the governments, uh, in addition to working through uh, the reconstruction from the disaster, uh, is uh, implementing uh, uh, the countermeasures uh, respon responding to uh, the yen's appreciation uh, and uh, uh, and also uh, closely observing the, the uh, impacts uh, on the international financial and capital markets uh, by the overseas monetary policy and, and financial conditions. Uh, the Japanese government expects uh, the Bank of Japan will support the economy by appropriate and decisive monetary policy management while working closely with the government. Um, second point is uh, supplementary budget. <coughs> um, the third uh, supplementary budget was in enacted uh, on the 21st of November. Uh, the, am the amount is about 12.1 uh, trillion yen, uh, which is um, uh, over 156 billion dollars. The total supplementary budget, uh, including uh, the first and the second one, is uh, about uh, 18 trillion yen. Uh, and uh, the third supplementary budget is focusing on measures uh, that would um, uh, truly contribute to reconstruction. Uh, um, the expense uh, related to the, uh, the, the disaster is uh, 11.7 trillion yen under the, th uh, the third supplementary budget. Uh, this um, uh, includes uh, the decontamination measures uh, and uh, accelerating uh, reconstructions of the affected regions. Uh, and, uh, uh, and of course, uh, there are other relevant uh, legis legislation uh, that uh, uh, are pending in, in this extraordinary uh, diet session. <coughs> and uh, uh, third po point is about the National, uh, national Strategy and Policy uh, Council. Uh, the second meeting was held on the, the 21st of November. 
uh, which uh, the council is chaired by prime minister uh, and uh, uh, attended uh, by experts from the, the private sector. Uh, the Council is uh, compiling key basic policies and uh, uh, conceptualizing a mid to long term national vision uh, and uh, a basic strategy for revitalizing Japan is uh, being compiled uh, by the end of uh, this year. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, basic strategy will include the issue of uh, revival from uh, the disaster and nuclear power plant accident and, uh, and, and also uh, it will touch upon the development of uh, disaster affected areas uh, to be sustainable and um, uh, the issue of how we would accelerate the uh, realization of a new growth strategy, um, especially in the areas, uh, in the affected uh, areas uh, to, to make it as a kind of model of uh, Japan's uh, re revitalization is uh, some of the issues uh, that would be uh, touched upon. And also uh, the issue of uh, reviewing uh, energy and uh, environmental policy is uh, also expected to be uh, touched upon. And lastly, um, on the issue of um, uh, reconstruction agency, um, th there is a bill uh, which was uh, decided by the cabinet on the 1st of November and was in introduced uh, to the Japanese parliament uh, uh, on the 21st of November. The reconstruction agency is planning to be uh, in charge of the design and coordination of the national policies on reconstruction as well as uh, taking a role as a unified organization of support uh, for the affected uh, local uh, governments. It will be established for 10 years uh, from the disaster, which is from uh, uh, 20, uh, which is a period up to 2020. Uh, the bill is uh, planned to become effective uh, between um, uh, the January and April of uh, next year, uh, uh, taking a preparation period into consideration. So this uh, concludes uh, my opening uh, remarks, and I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Moriyama uh, to go next. I am Moriyama from NISA. Thank you. I will brief you on the e status update of the roadmap towards restoration from the accident. I am sure that you have handouts uh, in front of you. Um, we are aiming to conclude step two within the e this year. And the only remaining issue in achieving step two is to achieve cold shutdown. の、あの、に着きましては、目標としてま数値そのものは既に実現しております。すなわちあの、え、圧力容器の低部の温度が100度以下であることに対して、既に1号機は約40度、2号機3号機は約70度となっています。Now however, however having said that we have already achieved the figures that would identify that we have reached cold shutdown. Um, namely the e temperature at the bottom of the e pressure vessel needs to be 100 degrees or less. It is, in fact, about 40 degrees for unit number one and 70 degrees for unit number two and three. え、現時点で約 0.1 ミリシーベルトということで、え、これもあの数値としては目標を達成しています。
And then there is also another uh, contributing uh, numerical target that needs to be achieved, which is indeed additional uh, radiological substance released from the containment vessel. Uh, this needs to be uh, below one millisieverts per ear at the site boundary. And as of uh, this point of time, we have achieved something around one point zero, uh, excuse me, 0 0.1 millisieverts per um, ear. So therefore, uh, this numerically has been achieved. このように数値的にはあの達成していますが、まあ、ホワイトにしましては、この状態、その十分冷却されており、かつ放射性物質の放出が低いレベルに抑えられているという状態を、まあ、中期的に、まあ、例えば今後3年程度を見,見通した上で、際にあの十分達成できるという確信を持つ必要があります。そのための今、評価を実施しています。So, um, as you just heard, numerically, uh, we have achieved uh, the e targets. However, NISA is currently e assessing the situation to make sure that, uh, number one, the e cooling uh, of the e e reactors and the spent fuel are sufficient, as well as the radioactive substance release being sufficiently low um, in um, looking at the e midterm, which is like three years down the road, to make sure that we can confidently say that that yes, um, cold shutdown has been achieved. え、ホワイナの現在の評価の状況ですけども、あの、まずあの手順といたしましては、え、中期的に確保、あの、実現していただく安全確保の考え方というものを示しました。これは10月の初めに示しています。それに対して東京電力から施設の計画というものが設備を
ポイントだけご説明させていきます。はい、えー、っと1枚めくっていただきましてあの、えー、日本の地図が出てますがここに、えー、今回の原子力発電所福島第一原子力発電所からの放射性物質の大量放出の影響が出ておりますこれがあのエアボーモニタリングの、えー、地図であります。So if you can flip a page where you start to see the map of Japan,、um, this shows you the distribution map of airborne, airborne monitoring survey conducted by MEXT. And this will show you the distribution of、um, radioactive substances around Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. えー、と1ページがあの空間線量率の値のマップであります。そして、ページの1は、グランドレベルから、グランドサーフェイスから1メートルの地点におけるあの、えー、あの空間線量率で、単位はあの右下のところにあのカラーとともに単位が書いてます。こういう値であります。And so,、uh, this was the、e、measurement at one meter above the ground surface, again, the air dose rates. And the、e、color coding is identified at the right bottom corner of the map. So, the next page is、ねえー、Cesium 134 to 137.、Uh, uh, And the、e、next page will show you the、e、contamination、uh, <coughs> at the ground surface for cesium 134 and cesium 137. これもあの右下にそれぞれ単位が書いてあります。ご参照ください。And again, the、e、values for the color coding are described at the right bottom corner. So if you can take a look at this, please, on your own. これはあの単位としましては、えー、ベクレルパースクエミーターのという単位です。And the unit used here would be becquerel per square meter. So, the first page is cesium 134 da ke no atai. So, the first page is cesium 137 da ke no atai. De gozaimasu. Now, on page three, you will see the、um, results for cesium 134 alone. And then on page four, the results for cesium 137 alone. これはのエアボーモニタリングによって、大体の放,あの放射物質の拡散具合というのがつかめるものですから、えー、これをあの基礎資料にして、今後の除染対策などに役立てるということになっております。Now,、uh, when we conduct airborne monitoring, we are able to understand the dispersion of the radioactive substances. And so, therefore, this will become the base material that we turn to when we conduct decontamination activities. その次が5ページからは、これはあの海のモニタリングの結果をいくつか紹介させていただきます。Now, starting on page 5, we have results that show、um, the results of the monitoring for the ocean. それぞれあの地点がありまして、あの丸,丸のところの四角いあの黒いところがあの福島第一原子力発電所、事故を起こした福島第一原子力発電所で、丸が30キロの圏内ということで、それぞれのポイントをどこでのモニタリングをしたかというポイントが載っております。So the black square describes the location of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station where the accident occurred, and there is a circle that indicates the 30 km distance from it. And you will also see the circles identifying the points that the measurements took place at. えー、とこれまでいろんな各種についてモニタリングをやってきていますが、今回の値はここに、え。ー5ページではこうストロンチウムの、えー、結果が出ております。Now, several nuclides have been measured、um, so far. On page 5, we show the results for strontium. それから6ページが、えー、プットニウムの値。これは出てきて、脳出てく全部で、ここの値におけるうう結果は、すべてノードデクタブルということであります。And、um, on six, the results for plutonium. And in fact, for all of the points, you can see that it was non detectable. And 
出てまして今回はあの、えー、ウランプルトニウム系列の値が出ています。えー、とここであのアメリスイム241の値が少し出たりしておりますけど、えー、とこれはですねアメリスイムの値っていうのは今回の事故に起因したものであるかどうかはよくわからないというのが判別できないというのが今回結論であります。Now,、uh, we do see a, a measurement for americium 241、um, in this、uh, result. However,、uh, whether this was due to the accident or not is something that we have looked into. However, the conclusion was that we cannot、um, tell whether this was due to the accident or not. いくつか理由がありましたが、一つ理由があるんですけど、一つだけご紹介しますと、下にあるあのキリウムの243244というのが。2422432244というのがあるんですがえこれはあの自然界には存在しないものであって、えー、これがノンディテクタブルだということは、えー、がその、えー、発電所に起因するアメリシウムの量ではないということ発電所に起因するものかどうかわからないということの一つのポイントであります。Now, the reason why we concluded that we do not know whether the americium came from the accident or not is、um, due to several reasons, but just to let you know one、um, um, curium 242, 243, 244、uh, described towards the bottom,、um, which are all nuclides that do not exist in、um, natural. Um, air. This was all non detectable, and so therefore, for that reason, we, do not, we cannot really tell whether the americium came from the accident or not. あとあの、プルトリウムの値とか、ウランニウムの値、これはあの天然に存在する値とほぼ同じだということも理由なんですが、えー、そういったいくつかの理由によって、えーこのアンメルシウム241の値というのが、えー、発電所に起因したものかどうかというのはまだ分からないということであります。Um, as well as another reason would be、um, plutonium as well as uranium nuclide levels.、Uh, the、e、measured levels are、um, more or less the same as what you see in, in natural environments. And so, therefore, once again,、uh, we have concluded that we cannot tell whether americium 241 was due to the accident or not. So, the Hatch Page Ga. 発電所からかなり離れたところのポイントにおける、えー、シーウォーターのです、ね、表層とアウターレイヤーとノアレイヤーの,のそれぞれセシウム134137の値を書いたものであります。And then,、uh, if we turn to page、uh, number eight, we are, are looking at cesium 134 and 137 at the outer layer and lower layer of seawater at locations farther away from the station. ここににに書いいてございますようにあの非常に、えー、ユニットとしたベクリルパーリッターでありますから非常に低い値が出ているということであります。And the unit used here is becquerel per liter, so therefore the measurement results were very, very low. それから、えー、その9ページは、えー、これトリチウム、H の3とこトリチウムであります。トリチウム、それから全アルファ各種、全ベータ各種を調べた結果でありますが、こうありますよ、ね、ノンデテクタブルということであります。And then, if we turn to page 9,、uh, you can see the results for H3, which is tritium, and also gross alpha and gross beta. All of this was non detectable. So, the two pages are iodine, and cesium, mangan, cobalt, cesium, and the other ones are the same. So, the two pages are the same. So, the two pages are the same. So, the two pages are And then、uh, page 10.、Uh, this shows the results、uh, from the measurement we、e、made for iodine,、um, cesium, mag mag manganese. <laughs> manganese, manganese, cobalt, and、um, cerium. And for all of those nuclides at the locations that we made this measurement,、uh, there was、um, no detection of these nuclides. And that concludes my briefing. Next, uh, uh, Mr. Kawaguchi from a Nuclear Safety Commission. Yes. 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 Yes.
I am from the Secretary of the Nuclear Safety Commission. 原子力安全委員会の方から2点資料を配布させていただいております。まず最初が環境モニタリング結果の評価でございます。資料ではですね、11月21日付のモニタリング結果の評価を配布させていただいたところでございます。全体的な傾向といたしまして、前回行いましたブリーフィングからですね、特筆すべき特段の大きな変化はございません。詳細につきましては、資料をご覧いただければと思います。And for the details, if you can kindly turn to this material and look at it yourself. もう一つの資料でございますが、タイトルが、Area in which the nuclear power plant specific disaster prevention measures should be intensively implemented concept という資料でございます。And the other material we've distributed is entitled Area in which the nuclear power plant specific disaster prevention measures should be intensively implemented concept. この資料でございますが、まだですね、ちょっと英訳の作業中であるというところでございまして、まだ暫定的な英訳である点、ご了解いただければと思います。First and foremost, the English translation for this material is still in progress, so therefore, please understand that what you have in front of you is still a provisional translation of the document. 本来であればですね、7ページ分本文があった後にですね、さらに参考資料があるんですが、英訳の作業を間に合ってございませんでしたので、今後追加また修正した上でですね、原子力安全委員会の英語のホームページの方に掲載させていただく予定でございます。So, the original document should have seven pages worth of the main body and then several references after that. However, we have not been able to complete the translation into English, and so therefore we, will,、um, we estimate that there will be some additional、um, translation as well as modification or revision to what has already been provided to you. And this will be provided via the English homepage of NSC. So, please look into the homepage. えー、お休みさせていただきますが、えー、まず原子力安全委員会ではですね、えー、原子力の防災にかかります、えー、専門的、えー、または技術的事項につきまして防災指針というものを、えー、策定しております。Now,、uh, let me just very briefly explain about the nuclear emergency preparedness guideline that NSC is in charge of.、Uh, we are putting together this disaster prevention guideline、um, from the perspective of、um, and technology as well as the expertise that is needed here. 実際この絵を我々が作ってございます防災指針につきまして法律的な拘束力を持つものではございませんが国やですね地方公共団体または事業者はですねこの防災指針も参考にした上で原子力防災にかかる計画を作成しているというところでございます。Now, however, having said that, this disaster prevention guideline is not a legally binding guideline. Nevertheless, the central government, as well as the local governments and other organizations, as well as business operators, will turn to this disaster prevention guideline to come up with disaster prevention measures in、uh, nuclear facilities. 一例を申し上げますと、防災対策を重点的に充実すべき地域の範囲ということで、EPZ ・エマージェンシー・パーニング・ゾーンというのがあるんですが、これにつきましては、われわれが策定いたします防災指針において、目安の値を示しているところでございまして、具体的なこの EPZ、これの範囲の指定につきましては、各地方自治体が定めます地域防災計画においてなされているというものでございます。Okay. Uh, for example,、um, 
the EPZ, Emergency Planning Zone, for each of the areas are um, defined, um, which are the areas where measurements against um, disasters should be taken um, specifically uh, with care. Um, we have come up with um, values or figures within our guideline to uh, define this. However, that is not um, taken as is. It is, in fact, the local government that will take this guideline figure into consideration to define eventually their uh, figures and therefore define their zones. Okay. 今般ですね原子力安全委員会ではですね今回の、えー、東京電力福島第一原子力発電所におきます、えー、事故を受けまして、えー、現時点でこれまで得られました事故の教訓やですね IAEA などで、えー、示されてございます、えー、国際的な基準、えー、これなどを踏まえまして、えー、防災指針の抜本的な見直しについて、えー、現在検討を行っているところでございます。And based on the lessons learned from the accident uh, that took place at Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station of TEPCO, as well as learning from the international standards of IAEA,、um, NSC is currently、uh, revisiting and reviewing the、uh, disaster prevention guideline. 特にですね先ほど申し上げました EPZ につきまして現行の,現行のです、ね、防災指針におきましては目安としてです、ね、約8から1 0キロという形で示してきたところでございますけれども現状、ですね今、避難区域という形では福島第一原子力発電所から半径約2 0キロ計画的避難区域につきましては北西方向ではございますが約5 0キロまで及んでいるところでございます。Um, in specific, we are, are reviewing how the EPZ is defined. In the current guideline, the、e、more or less、um, guiding figure is 8 to 10 kilometers from the、e、site. However,、uh, when you look at what is currently being placed as a restriction area, then it is 20 kilometers radius of the、e、Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. And then when we turn to the、e、deliberate evacuation area, though only in the The northwest direction, it extends to 50 kilometers. 今回ですね、見直しにつきまして、具体的な検討を行ってございます、防災指針検討ワーキンググループというのがあるんですが、ここにおきまして、11月1日にですね、今回の原子力発電所にかかる防災対策を重点的に充実すべき地域に関する考え方というものにつきまして、一定の整理を行ったところでございまして、これをですね、11月17日の原子力安全委員会に報告させていただいたところでございます。それが今、お手元に配布の資料でございます。So, um, the specific Uh, reviewing task is conducted by the、e、Disaster Prevention Guideline、uh, Review Working Group,、uh, which met on、uh, November 1st, and、uh, they were able to come up with a, a more or less a concept in how、uh, the disaster、uh, prevention measures against nuclear disasters、uh, should be、e、considered.、Uh, that approach or concept has been put together and has been reported to the Nuclear Safety Commission,、uh, which met on the 17th <coughs> of November. And that concept is exactly what you have before you. 資料の詳細につきましては、えー、お手元の資料をご覧いただければと思いますが、えー、具体的な、えー、ポイントを、えー、簡単にご説明させていただきます。そう、あ、you can actually read this document. However, let me just point out a couple of very important key points. 主に2つでございまして、まず1点目がですね、防護措置をですね実際に行うにあたってはですね、予測的な手法によります意思決定を行うものではなくてですね、緊急事態の種類やですね、実際に計測することができるですね、計測可能な判断基準、これを用いて意思決定をするというスキームを構築しなければいけないのではないかという提言をさせていただくこと。And so,、um, there are actually two points that I would like to uh, uh, mention. Uh, one is with regards to、uh, how、um, preventative measures or prevention measures are to be considered. It is not really an、um, estimational method that should be used, but we should、uh, turn to、um, specific uh, measurements um, and other factors to come up with the、e、measurements.、Um, and that is described as a concept. 
また2点目ということで防災対策を重点的に充実すべき地域というものとしてどういう地域を設けるかということで具体にはこの今お配りした資料の一番裏の資料でございますがそこにコンセプトの図が書いているものでございます。And then the second is, in fact, how to define the areas、um, in which intensively implemented disaster prevention measures should be、um, put into place. And that is described on the final page of this material. まず、えー、一つ目がですね、PAZ、えー、Precautionary Action Zone というものでございます。And the first concept that appears, appears here is the PAZ, the Precautionary Action Zone. まずここにつきましてはですね、まあえー、急速にですね、えー、進展する事故を考慮いたしまして、えー、確定的影響、えー、これを回避するというところから、えー、直ちに避難を実施するということなどですね、えー、放射性物質がですね環境に放出される前などにですね、えー、実際的に予防的な防護手段を、えー、取るべきであるというような、えー、区域でございます。And the precautionary action zone is, in fact,、um, considering a rapid progress of any accident. A, a preventive protective action should be, in fact, put into place before radioactive release into the environment、um, is done to avoid any serious deterministic effect. That is how we define the precautionary action zone. PAZ のですね、えー、具体的な、えー、範囲の目安につきましては、えー、原子力施設からおおむね、えー、5キロという、半径5キロですね、という、えー、ものを示させていただいたところでございます。And、uh, we said that this、uh, PAZ should be something about、um, a radius of 5 kilometers from the nuclear site. 2点目がですね、UPZ というもので、Urgent Protective Action Planning Zone というものでございます。The second is the UPZ, the Urgent Protective Action Planning Zone. これにつきましては、環境モニタリングの結果などですね、実際に計測することが可能なですね、判断基準に基づきまして、避難であるとか、屋内退避などをですね、実施するための計画を策定すべき区域という形でございます。Now,、um, in、uh, this zone,、uh, we are, are looking at、uh, measurement uh, results um, um, to, in fact, identify、um, any possible protective actions like evacuation or a sheltering indoors to be taken to avoid effects of the accident. この UPZ、これのですね範囲の目安でございますが、原子力施設から約30キロというふうに示しているところでございます。And the UPEZ would be defined at something like 30 kilometers from the nuclear facility. 最後の3つ目でございますが、これは PPA ということで、プロンプロテクションプランニングエリアというものでございます。And then the、e、final、um, level would be PPA, the Plume Protection Planning Area. これにつきましてはですね、えー、放射性物質を含んだプルームというものが今回も、えー、出ているところでございますが、これによる被爆のですね影響を避けるために、えー、例えばまあ屋内退避などの防護措置を実施するという地域で、えー、ございます。And here the concept is to actually avoid、um, exposure or to plume,、uh, that is basically radioactive substances. And this radioactive plume was something that、uh, we saw in this accident as well. But in order to avoid the exposure to this,、uh, we are talking about defining this area、um, so that people can shelter themselves in homes, etc. 以上がこの資料のですね簡単なポイントでございます。私の方から以上でございます。And so that was the brief explanation、um, about this document, and that concludes my briefing. Next,、uh, Mr. Yokota of、uh, MHLW. えー、私の方からは厚生労働省の方に報告のありました食品中の放射性物質の検査結果の概要について。ご説明させていただきます。So now I will、uh, brief you on、uh, the status of、um, any food contained radioactive substances that were reported to MHLW. えっと資料の一ページ目と二ページ目の表が三月以降これまでにえっと報告になりました食品中の検査結果で合計六万件以上の結果が得られております。
And so on page one and two, you see a list of 60,000 or so items um, in total that have been reported to contain um, radioactive um, substance. And um, this has been from March uh, throughout. えっと、この中で、まあ、11月に入ってから暫定規制値を超過した主な品目について簡単にご紹介させていただきますとまず福島県ですけどもしいたけなどのきのこ類それから水産物それからイノシシの肉それからあとこれは1件だけですけど米などについて規制値超過した事例が認められております。Now, let me、uh, brief you on the items that have been reported as having higher than、um, provisional regulatory values measured、um, since November,、um, starting from、uh, food in Fukushima.、Uh, basically, several mushrooms, including shiitake,、um, as well as fishery products, and also、uh, meat from wild boar, and also、um, one report of rice、uh, going beyond the provisional regulatory value. で福島以外の県につきましては、まあ、栃木県の栗竹とかなめここれもキノコ類になりますけどもそれからあと茨城千葉などのしいたけなどで暫定規制超過した事例が認められております。Now,、um, other examples of where the measurement exceeded the irregulatory provisional value was seen in Kuritake and Nameko mushrooms from Tochigi Prefecture, as well as Shitake mushrooms from Ibaraki and Chiba Prefectures. こうした検査結果を受けまして、3ページ目以降が、えー、と政府が指示を出している出荷制限の一覧表ということになります。And so these were the e results, and based upon the e measured results, the e government has in fact、uh, put forward、uh, restrictions on distribution of such food products and instructed、uh, the e restriction. And there's a list of those instructions starting on page three. 11月になってから追加となった点、簡単にご説明させていただきますと、えっと、3ページ目が福島でございますけども、しいたけ。それから米、それからイノシシ肉、福島の一部地域のこういった品目について出荷制限が新たに指示がされているところです。So,、uh, let me brief you on the additional instructions in restriction、uh, that the government has laid、um, starting October.、Um, on page three, you see a list for Fukushima Prefecture, again,、uh, for shiitake mushrooms, rice, and also a wild boar meat in、uh, parts of Fukushima. Again, there is now a restriction in place to、uh, distribute. それからその次、4ページ目が福島県以外でございますが。えー、と11月に入ってから追加になったところは茨城県と千葉県の一部地,一部地域のしいたけそれから栃木県の一部地域の栗たけとなめここれもきのこ類ですけどもがあ新たに追加になっております。And then on page four,、uh, this is a list for、uh, prefectures other than Fukushima that have now additional or new、um, instructions in place starting,、um, octo- uh, starting November.、Um, again, shiitake mushrooms from Ibaragi, parts of Ibaragi and Chiba, as well as kuritake and nameko mushrooms, again from parts of Tochigi Prefecture. So, the last one is the last one. The last one is the last one. The last one is 一番下福島県の一部地域のイノシシ肉について新たに11月に入ってから接種制限の方が指示が出されているところでございます。And then the final page、um, describes a list of restrictions now for consumption. And、um, the、e、new one that has been added to this list in November is the consumption of wild boar meat from Fukushima. And that concludes my briefing. Uh, next, I'm s a y i n g Norway of、uh, Minister of Environment, please. Hello, everyone.、Um, I'd like、um, my name is Naomi Norway. And I'm sorry for not preparing a、uh, transcript in English. And I w- I'd like to talk about decontamination and uh, uh, managing the contaminated waste. And this, this topic is too fresh to translate, so、um, I, I apologize.、Um, The, my topic is two points. One is the basic policies, which was uh, uh, de- de- 
uh, decided by the cabinet last week, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 11th November. And the second topic is, uh, it is the ministerial meeting, which was held last Friday. And the first, the first point, uh, the basic policies uh, for, uh, for con decontamination and uh, uh, contaminated waste management was, uh, was settled. Uh, it, was, uh, it is based on the law which was enacted in uh, August. And uh, this, roughly, this is, uh, this is consisted of two points. First is uh, uh, contaminated waste management and the uh, con decontamination of the soil. Firstly, uh, regarding the first part, um, it's, it consists of um, uh, roughly five points. Firstly, the, mm, the waste management should be prioritized uh, where the uh, pe people is uh, resided. Uh, pe oh, sorry. Residential areas should be prioritized uh, in doing the uh, uh, waste management. And secondly, the existing waste management facilities should be uh, utilized uh, rather than uh, making and constructing uh, new, uh, new facilities because it takes too, too much time for the construction. So it is uh, uh, much quicker for to use the, the existing uh, facilities. Thirdly, um, in doing a decontamination, uh, sorry, in doing a waste management, the the healthcare of the neighborhood people should be uh, taken into account and should be care. And fourth, the bulk of the waste should be uh, de decreased. Um, so in order to decrease the bulk, uh, we ha have to limit classify. We uh, we need to classify. Uh, those uh, those waste, uh, although the the uh, the amount of the waste is uh, is quite large, but it is better for uh, it is better uh, for us to to classify in order to manage quickly. Uh, for the last part, uh, last point is that the waste, uh, the radioactive level. Uh, sorry. The, the, the waste ma sorry, in Japanese, eh, 放射線量が高い廃棄物の処理は、あその発生された都道府県の中において行うと。So if the、uh, waste is measuring high in a radiation level, then it should be handled or processed within the prefecture that it was generated in. I'd like to explain the second part of, the, of this basic policies, which is, which is about、uh, decontamination of the, of the soil. Firstly,、uh, the decontamination should be,、uh, sorry, the areas where children spend much time should be prior prioritized. And this point is uh, uh, so many people, many, many people、uh, point out this point through the public comment of these、uh, basic policies. And secondly, The additional, uh, the target for areas where the additional ex、uh, exposure is、uh, more than 20 milli. Sorry, in Japanese. 追加被爆線量が年間20ミリシベート以上の地域についてはこの地域をあの迅速に縮小すると。しかしそのためには長期的な取り組みが必要だということです。And so the second point is to actually、e、reduce the、e、area uh, that um, exceeds uh, 20 e millisieverts per year in exposure. Or however, there will be longer term measures、uh, needed、uh, for this. The long term target for areas where additional,、uh, additional exposure is less, less than 20 millisieverts is to.、Uh, Uh, is to make, make the,、uh, the exposure level、uh, under one millisievert per year. And next is、um, 
uh, the national government uh, desi designates some areas where the the exposure level is uh, too high, very high, and those specific. I'm talking about the the targets of the uh, those specific areas, and uh, the soil decontamination should be uh, uh, moved on. Uh, by uh, 2014, uh, the end of March, and uh, removed soil should be uh, moved into the, the ad hoc uh, disposal site. And this is a long-term uh, target, but the, but the areas where the, the, the exposure level is very high, uh, the national government should do the model uh, uh, model uh, enterprise to do the decontamination. And, uh, okay, the, the expo exposure level, uh, where the exposure level is more than one millisieverts, but less than 20 millisieverts, uh, uh, the, the, the local authority of those areas should do uh, a survey and if the, uh, by the survey, the, the areas, uh, if the, the exposure level is more than one millisieverts, they have to uh, make the uh, plan to do the decontamina decontamination. And um, fo they have to do the decontamination th uh, following those uh, plans. But uh, one thing uh, they have to, uh, how do you say, take care about is to secure the ad hoc disposal, disposal site. And without doing that, uh, they don't know uh, wh where to dispose those uh, removed, removed soil. And, okay, this is the uh, points of the basic policies. And nextly, I'd like to uh, briefly explain about the explain the ministerial meeting held last uh, Friday. Uh, this ministerial meeting uh, was uh, ah sorry um, on November 11th when the bas basic plan was decided by the cabinet. At that uh, time. The Prime Minister uh, ordered uh, ordered to organize the ministerial meeting, the chair of which is Chief Cabinet Secretary, and the Vice Chair uh, is uh, Minister of the Environment. And the, the other members are nine, uh, such as uh, Ministry of the Ag Agriculture and Ministry of Infra Infrastructure and so on. And the the objective of this meeting is to um, is to make a agree, uh, agreement to do some uh, cooperation to uh, uh, to do firm co cooperation concerning uh, human resources so uh, under this agreement uh, ministry of agriculture ministry of the infra infra infrastructure and the other ministries um, have um, have sent some uh, staff to the Ministry of the Environment and the local uh, office in uh, Fukushima. And among those cooperation, the Ministry of Defense, uh, Minister of Defense, explained that they are now consider considering um, the cooperation of the Self Defense Force. Defense Force. The cooperation of the Defense Force. And the, uh, the local office, the number of the staff in at the local office should be, uh, is now uh, planned to be enforced. And now the number is uh, 30, 30 people. But uh, next January, the number is uh, added to 60. And next April, the number is supposed to be uh, 200. And that, that's all for my explanation. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you very much. Uh, now I would like to open the floor for uh, questions. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to ask for uh, the, the questions from uh, international press and uh, if the time rem remaining uh, from our embassy uh, people as well. Uh, Peter. Thank you very much, Peter Kui at German Radio ARD. My first question is to Mr. moriyama san and probably to you, Mr. Shikata. Um, since you uh, are almost able to achieve the cold shutdown, as you explained, which is quite good, actually. Thank you very much for that. And uh, how do you think to go on with this uh, problem with the Fukushima Daiichi? Will you still share the competence between TEPCO and NISA like it is now? Or is there any plans regarding the next steps, which are definitely necessary and will, will take much longer? And for you, Mr. Shikata, is there any um, discussion about uh, getting the government more involved into the uh, decommissioning of Fukushima Daiichi in the future? Is there any plans, um, um, for example, that the government will take over this task? Thank you. え、すいません。え、ジャーマンラジオ、ARDのピーターと申します。え、森山さんとそれから鹿田さんに質問させていただきたいと思います。え、まず森山さんですが、先ほどのご説明の中で、ま、ほぼ、え、で、音程詞が
確認するではなかなか時間的なあの問題もありますので、まあ、できるだけ早くあの排出措置を実現していく必要がありますから当然、その検討のプロセスには保安委員も参加をして、えー、手戻りのないようにすなわちあの時間を下ろすしないようにそのような努力をしなければいけないと思っています。保安委員からは以上です Now, having said that,、uh, we cannot just wait until the operator and the、e、agency come up with a plan and then、uh, review what they have done because that would be a waste of time. So, and we do have to work on the decommissioning as soon as possible. So, therefore, we would like to, NIS,、um, the NISA would like to be involved in the reviewing process as well so that we would not have any rework to do later on and also to avoid any time loss. And that concludes my response to your question, sir. Uh, since Mr. Moriyama、uh, pretty much explained uh, the issues uh, uh, at、uh, regard to uh, nuclear, uh, nuclear、uh, Atom Atom energy commission, Atom uh, Atomic Energy Commission,、uh, there, there's a kind of expert uh, group uh, uh, deliberating on、uh, the dismantling of、uh, the nuclear power, power reactors. And uh, uh, they are、uh, preparing for. Uh, their proposals or reports,、uh, and uh, uh, we are expecting that you know, this will be uh, uh, compiled uh, sometimes, maybe hopefully next,、uh, next month. And、uh, so, after we、uh, come up with a you know, call the shutdown,、uh, there is going to be a kind of longer term、uh, process of、uh, dis dismantling of uh, uh, the nuclear reactors. Of course, As、uh, Mr. Moriyama、uh, mentioned, you know, this is、uh, not something、uh, TEPCO alone you know, may, may be able to cope with, and、uh, it's going to be the process that、uh, the government and、uh, TEPCO you know, will be working、uh, very closely hand in hand. Next question. Steve Herman from Voice of America.、Uh, I'd like to get a, a reaction from the government. Uh, concerning、um, TEPCO's compensation plan, I believe a revision is supposed to be issued perhaps today. And there's been significant criticism about the way that TEPCO has handled this, that the forms are im impossible virtually for individuals to, to fill out. And TEPCO says it's, it's been helping people along. But does the government think that TEPCO has, has made this process as smooth as possible, or that it appears to be dragging its feet or putting up unnecessary barriers、uh, for the evacuees who, who are、um, uh, entitled to compensation? えー、とボイス・オブ・アメリカのスティーブン・ハーマンと申します、えー、政府の見解について聞かせていただ,いたの、えー、聞かせていただきたいのでこの質問をさせていただきますが、えー、東京電力からの、えー、被災者に対する補償についての質問になります今日にでも、えー、この改定が発表されるというようなこともありますけれども、えー、大まかなことを言えば、まあ、避難が集中しているのではないかと思います例えば東京電力はそのフォームの入力あるいは記入についてについても、えー、皆さんの、えー、助けをしているというふうにおっしゃっていますけれどもほとんど、えー、記入するのが不可能なのではないかと思うようなフォームだったり、えー、などなど、まあ、そういうところに避難が集中していますけれども政府の見解としてはどうなんでしょうかつまり、えー、この東京電力はこれを極力スムーズにするように努力をしたというふうに思っていますかそれとも不必要に、えー、この本来であれば保障を受ける立場にある避難民にあるいは被災者に対して、えー不必要な障壁を東京電力が課しているようなそういう嫌いはないのかそのあたりお聞かせください。Yes, uh, you know, this is something that、uh, of course uh, uh, TEPCO uh, as an operator of、uh, the nuclear re、uh, reactor plant has a primary responsibility、uh, for compensating for, for the damages and uh, uh, but at the end of the day when、uh, Uh, the, the, the capacity、uh, of the company exceeds uh, uh, its uh, uh, financial uh, power.、Uh, there is、uh, room for the government you know, to intervene. As you point out, you know, there, there have been a number of、uh, issues、uh, pointed out in terms of,、uh, as you mentioned,、uh, the process uh, procedure uh, 
uh, for uh, the compensation uh, to be realized. And uh, uh, there, there was, uh, uh, I guess it was Minister Edano who pointed out uh, that there, is, uh, there needs to be uh, more you know, simplifications of uh, manuals and, and uh, procedures uh, for, for such a compensation to be, uh, uh, to be realized. So um, from my viewpoint, uh, it is uh, uh, the, the continued uh, responsibility of TEPCO uh, to uh, tackle this issue, although it may, be a, you know, or it may continue to be a difficult one. Uh, and uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, with uh, you know, the series of supplementary budgets, uh, when uh, there, there is uh, room for, for the government uh, to help out uh, those, uh, uh, the both uh, the individual public uh, and uh, companies or, or affected uh, industries, including agricultural fisheries, uh, you know, the, the, the government realizes the, the responsibilities uh, for extending assistance, you know, those uh, who, are actually, you know, who are in their uh, need. Thank you. Any other questions, Peter? Thanks. This question is to Mr. Kawabata um, from MEXT, if I may, um, yes. Uh, y you mentioned uh, the radiation, the airborne radiation maps, or you showed us the airborne radiation maps, and there are actually there are more and more maps coming out like, like this. But if you talk to local authorities, for example, with the um, authorities in Minamisoma, they created their own maps, which are more precise because they go on the ground um, meter by meter and checking the radiation. And the problem is that they do measure some different radiations, of course, because uh, they are more ac accurate as uh, um, the colleague from uh, NSC pointed out, yes, there are, of course, more local spots which are higher radiation dose. Um, if I ask the authorities, the local authorities, why do, do you not come up with a combined map, for example? They told me they do not share the um, results with, for example, MEXT. I would like to know if this is true, and why are you not putting all the informations together you can gather? Thank you. Hi. えっと、文化省の河原田さんにご質問 結果が反映されているとというようなことをおっしゃっていました。その、え、地方自治体が測定したものを文科省なり政府内に対して報告していないというのはまず事実なのかどうかということと、もう モニタリングはですね、あの、え、
Well, uh, uh, there are several different objectives to conducting monitoring activities in the first place. Now, the overall <coughs> comprehensive monitoring is, of course, uh, conducted by MEXT at uh, several different points, and there are other monitoring activities going on with different objectives, such as understanding the e land uh, where agriculture takes place or um, impact on produces. So when you look at each of those monitoring activities conducted by local communities or local um, um, authorities. In fact, the objectives uh, could be very different. So, the situation is monitoring the monitoring ま、調査会議という会議がありまして、これ政府全体の会議ですが、そこであの各省それぞれどんなことやるか、各自治体がどんなことやるかっていうのを計画で決めておりますので、それに従ってあの文科省の方にデータが出てくる。あの、全て出
レオンティス状態を維持するという時に大事なことはあの、まあ、今後可能性のある余震ですとか地震ですとか津波も含めて、えー、冷却が継続的に安定的にできるかということが大事です、まあ、そういったことも踏まえて含めてあの今評価をしているということでございます Now, of course, we need to maintain cold shutdown for stabilization. And、uh, this would mean that we need to consider aftershocks as well as other earthquakes and tsunami events. And even in the case of those events, it would be important to maintain cooling、um, in a continuous and stable manner. So, all of that is taken into account、um, as we conduct our assessment. の教訓を踏まえて、毎日また津波が来た場合に、えー、速やかに冷却のための注水ができるかどうかということに対しては、例えばあの、まあ、瓦礫を撤去するための重機、あのブルドだとか、そういったものを準備しておくとですとか、例えばあの冷却用のポンプを高台に、えー、準備するとか、まあ、そういったさまざまな準備をしていますので、まあ、今あの、十分時間的余裕を持って対応できるかどうかを評価しています。まあ、その結果、まあ、十分評価ができた段階で、その冷温停止状態というものがあまあ実現できる、すなわち冷温停止状態というのは、今の数字だけではなくて、今後その中長期的にその状態が維持できるかどうかということを含めた評価ですので、その評価をなんとか年内には終えたいというふうに思っています。私からは以上です。So,、uh, for example,、uh, we have learned lessons from the experience、um, in the earthquake as well as, as, well as the tsunami on、uh, March 11th. So,、um, if in any case we were to experience another earth tsunami, uh, can we uh, uh, maintain、um, water injection for cooling, etc.? This has been an aspect that has been considered, and measurements have already been taken, such as、um, prepare、um, heavy machinery like bulldozers so that rubble or Debris can be、uh, taken away,、um, such and other measures such as uh, preparing um, pumps for cooling systems on high grounds. So uh, we are um, taking measures against um, securing the stable、uh, state of the plants. And、uh, we need to、uh, um, have a long term perspective in.、Um, Declaring that we have reached、um, cold shutdown. So, therefore, not just the figures that we're looking at now, but from a mid to long term perspective, taking what I have been、uh, saying into account, can we safely say that cold shutdown can be achieved? Will be、uh, the result of the assessment that we are conducting at the moment. And that concludes my response. Thanks again this time for the colleague from the Environmental Ministry.、Um, again, it's、uh, the question about local authorities. What are they doing? And if you talk to them, th of course, they started already with decon decontamination work. And they thought it was very urgent. And they had the help from several professors from several、uh, universities here in Japan. And as far as I know, if you started to dig、um, uh, the contaminated soil somewhere, One meter be beyond the ground, close to the areas where they decom decontaminated. It is said to be safe. I was just wondering, they started to do that before actually your guidelines c o m e out. And when I talked to them, they didn't say they are willing to yeah, de dig this、uh, contaminated soil again and put it somewhere else. They, they would like to go on with their measurements. Are you, are the environmental ministry aware of these、uh, actions and what do you think about these? えー、と今度は環境省の方に対してご質問をさせていただきたいと思います。えー、また、地方自治体関連の質問なんですけれども、すでに地,地方自治体では、えー、除染を始めていらっしゃいますというのは、これが急務だということで、えー、認識されていまして、えー、いくつもの大学の、まあ、いろいろな教授の方に支援を得て、えー、進めていらっしゃると思います。で、えー、この汚染のされている土壌の、例えば1メートル下のところを掘って、まあ、除染をしていったり、
り、えー、ということは行われているようなんですけどもこれは、えー、おっしゃっていたガイドラインが、えー、この交付される前に実施されていた行為なんでしょうか、えー、それから、えー、この地方自治体の方に話を聞いてみますと、えー、その再度掘り起こしてやるというようなことは考えていないというふうにおっしゃっているんですけども、えー、そういった地方自治体の状況について、えー、把握はしていらっしゃるのでしょうかそのあたりお聞かせください、えーまあ、実際に自治体で sorry in Japanese <笑>自治体で多くその仮を Are you talking about ad hoc、uh, disposal or for example dig, in,、uh, dig and then put, put those、uh, waste?、Yeah. あの実際に8月の26日に、えー、原子力被災者支援チームが原子力災害特別本部が、えー、緊急実施基本方針というその緊急的に出した方針がございましてでそれに基づいてあのすでに、えー、助成を進めているというところはございます。でえーじまあ、我々としてはその仮置き場でのですね、その置き方については特定のその方式を示しております。10月末に出しているんですけれども、まあそれでは車水シートを下に敷いてその上にバッグに詰めたそのあの土壌をですね積み上げてその上にどのまあカバーをかけて土のを積み上げるといったような方式を示しているところでございます。Um, so,、um, yes, indeed, on August、uh, 26th, a, a commission, in fact,、um, met to put together a, a guideline for this.、Um, and based on this guideline, the decontamination activities are currently undergoing in、uh, several、uh, local governments. And in fact, at the end of October, we had defined a method of how the、um, dug up soil should be、uh, temporarily stored. In fact, you're supposed to have a, a sheet. Sheet at the bottom and then pack the soil inside bags and place them on that sheet, cover this up, and then cover it up with sandbags. That is the method of temporary storage of the contaminated soil that we have identified. So, the result of 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 その方向でやっていただきたいということは、今現在、基本方針に基づくガイドラインを作っておりますけれども、そのガイドラインでも示される予定ですし、それに基づいて、ぜひきちっとした仮置き場のにおけるその保管をしていただきたいということをあのお願いしたいと思っています。So, this is the ideal way of、uh, storing this dug up、um, soil. Um, and um, unless you do so,、um, it might、uh, mean that radioactive substances from within the soil that is stored there could leak and, and, and spread contamination. So, at the moment, we are putting together a guideline based on the basic policy, and、um, we would、uh, request the local governments to follow、uh, what is described in the guideline in terms of how to store the dug up soil. Okay, if、uh, there are no other. The last yeah, question. Yeah. One very short question for you, Mr. Shikanta.、Mm -hmm. um, there was, uh, there's a commission who actually um,、uh, um, examines um, who will be or who was responsible for the accident. I didn't hear、uh, heard anything about this commission during、mm -hmm. the last month. So I just was wondering there's the almost a cold shutdown and the end of the year is near. What is going on there? What are they doing?、Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, I guess、uh, you are talking about uh, uh, the independent commission、uh, that is uh, uh, carrying out uh, uh, invest investigations and interviews uh, of uh, relevant people.、Uh, they, they are、uh, preparing themselves uh, for, for a report. I, I can't tell you exactly when uh, uh, that uh, uh, report is uh, coming up, but uh, uh, this is something which is still ongoing. And,、uh, Uh, in due course, you know, the, the result will be announced, and、uh, the, the government is in a position uh, to examine uh, the lessons. Uh, 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 the, the report is expected to include uh, you know, how you know, we, we would learn lessons uh, from uh, 
uh, this accident and uh, uh, the government is in a position uh, to carefully review uh, the, the, the forthcoming uh, uh, report to be compi compiled by Professor Hatamra. Um, I don't know whether uh, it's going to com come out by the end of this year, uh, but uh, the I, I, I know that you know, they, they are uh, very actively engaged. Well, uh, so this uh, concludes uh, today's briefing. Thank you very much for coming.